Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about how to clone the account record in Salesforce without single line of code or without any Apex code, right? So if you want to learn these whole concept, so please watch this video until end, don't skip any part of this video and please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site. So let's get started. So let me show you the concept first, okay? Then we will see how we can implement it. So let me open the sales application. So let me open this sales application. And after this application, you can see lots of tab, right? So as you know very well, these all things by default, right? So like uh, opportunity, lead, these all tabs. Also, once we click the here, like all opportunity, right? So you can see the all opportunity. Once you clicked on this opportunity, you will be see like clone button as well here like clone right like cloning same thing we have to create the clone button i will show you how we can create that in lead also you will be see the same things let's say this one and uh, here just click on this drop down you can see the clone right so everywhere uh, clone button is available except the account you know object so contact also have the cloning rights so now just click on this one now you can see the clone so everywhere you can see the clone button right but instead of you know account we don't have this clone button so let me open the account record so here just you can see the account record here okay just ignore this message and click on this one so you cannot see any cloning here right why because Salesforce by default don't have this functionality in the you know account so we have this some tips and trick or we can say that it's a workaround inside this object so how we can leverage this feature so first of all you have to open the object manager just click on gear icon or edit object also be fine right so just click on this object and once you open it you will be see like lots of option inside this object right so now you have to do one thing just you can see like button links and action just click on this button links and action and uh, you can see the two option here right like uh, an, a new action and a new button or link so you have to select the second option this one and after that you can enter the details based on your need okay so it's always good practice so always make this you know description everything inside this one so let me tell you why because I'm doing these things so under here level let's say clone account okay and description don't forget it to enter this value because nowadays sales are working in the ai so it's always the best practice always enter the description field value okay so let's say this let's say this is cloning for account record record something like that you can give any name as you want so it's up to you but for now i'm giving this name so okay and also we have like a display type so display type leave it as it is like a detail page link like this we have detail page button list list button there are so many options but for now leave it as it is this uh, this de detail page link and after that you can see this one uh, like a behavior and a content source right so behavior i want to change the behavior like a display in new window or you can see the lots of behavior right so i want to check this one display in existing window without sidebar or header this one okay so now this is the option and content source you, you can see the url there are so many things let's say uh, one click visual force if you have like a javascript directly you can inject it or visual force you have so you can directly inject it but for now i'm using like url because i need to clone the existing you know account based on the button click and this uh, url and simple things right so how we can use this so first of all you have to write some snippets very simple snippets it's very easy to handle it right and uh, just you have to do one thing here just you have to write like a okay like a slash after that you have to take this account id so how we can see this account id 
inside the insert merge field you can see lots of you know fields regarding this account object because right now we are in account object that's why you can see these all merge field here i need this one like account id so here you can see slash account id is automatic appear here so this is the merge field and you have to take care about it don't take anything inside here like that so you have to keep it like this okay otherwise it will not really work after forward slash you can see two forward slash one is beginning and one is in the you know, last and after that you have to write some small snippets that is e equal to okay e or that is a e question mark it means query parameter clone this is the syntax given by the salesforce like e query parameter clone equal to one it means you can clone the record like this so in this you know this is snippet e means here it's a uh, indicate the action it uh, it kind of be like a edit it kind of be edit or you know like clone so based on this e it's automatic decided by the salesforce or the action clone equal to one so it's a extract or you know you know include the query parameter inside this you know so just click on the save button so once you save it now you can see our button is saved successfully here right so this is the final one after that you have to open the page layout because directly you cannot access the button and links right so you have to change the page layout so just click on the default page layout right now i'm using like account page layout so you have to make sure this uh, you know page layout things so after that you can click on the mobile and lightning here right so just let me click on the mobile and lightning so these all mobile and lightning you can scroll up and you know horizontal vertical like that left and right okay so we have to change this something i missed it that is detail page link so we have to make it like detail page button so i missed it so you can change it like that after that you have to click on the save button click on the page layout and uh, this is the default page layout so under this page layout you can search like mobile and lightning here you can see the clone account you can see right so just drag and drop this one here you can override the action and this is the clone account so you can give here like this clone account just click on the save now you have to save your page layout after the save this page layout just go to the you know account and just refresh this page once you refresh this page you will be see this button that is clone account here you can see okay so please focus this one we have created this button and links that's why you can see this one right so here this is the clone account here right so how we can use it so just click on this clone account so once you click on this clone account immediately you can see this you know all the information regarding this uh, record is automatic populated here e means we already discuss about this e means it's a added or you know cloning so let me tell you one thing here please observe this e so this is the parameter like e okay so that's why you can see this is added editable form and you can create a new one as well let me open the another account and let's see in the action so this is the test record right let's close it and let me make it as a clone so this is a test one let me save this now new record is created successfully so just leave it as it is click on the account now you can see two records as a test so this is how you can clone the account record right it's a very simple trick and say like a simple uh, one query parameter you have to pass it and leverage this feature no need worry about single line of code like a hex or something like that so it's a very useful for us you can leverage this feature in your org as well if you are enjoying this video so please like share comment subscribe the channel also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys see you again bye bye